action. You better go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, everybody. Good afternoon. We were just discussing what the worst candy in the world was. Candy corn. Made Does it anybody? To number one. It did by far. Other in fact, than it was like peanut butter cups. Oh, what? Please. Get <laughs> out. Those are the best. <laughs> That's for sure. That's right. And then Dylan pipes up over there and says he likes candy corn. I'm like, really? Uh. It's like eating wax. So anyway, hi. Happy Friday. Um, we are back for another cool thing of Facebook Live. Um, Christine's doing a really cute project today. I think you guys are going to love it. It's in the hoop, right? Yep. Yep. Yay. So back to in the hoop. That's a good thing. Where'd you get this one from? Actually, Elaine. Elaine. Oh, did she? Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Did yeah. Elaine and digitize it? it? It's not Kimberbell. No, <laughs> and it's not Kimberbell. <laughs> no, she did it and then sent it up as a suggestion for lives. Oh, that's fun. So, so thanks, Elaine. Yeah. Thank you, Elaine. That's right. You want to show them the candy corn fabric? No. No? Oh, okay. Never mind. We don't have any to sew. Oh, we don't? No. <laughs> no, that's not up the whole thing. It's I just like to, all candy corn it's stuff. It's going into the mystery kits. Ah, <laughs> good. So okay. we're back to mystery, by the way. So oh. I know, exactly. That's mystery eight, right? It is. Yeah, yeah I've okay. been busy mm -hmm. cutting and cutting and cutting. Oh, good deal. Do we have a winner? Yes. You, you're the one who drew the name, so you need to... to what are we giving her away? We are giving her away. <laughs> You're looking at me like I'm crazy. <laughs> she doesn't remember the name she drew. So that's... <laughs> I remember, so I'll tell her. Okay, okay, thanks. Thanks for getting me out of this one. I did draw the name, and now I can't remember who it was. So this is going to the winner. And this is actually... Oh, wow. I know, nice isn't it cool? Yeah. This is another one of those ones that was donated to us. Oh, how cool. Yeah, well, so we you. feel very blessed that... Um, um, she donated all of this stuff for us to give away. So, well, and this awesome. is going to Tammy Leggett. Okay. Is she getting the wallet too? Or are you just giving them the back? No, she's getting the whole set. Oh, wow. There's a whole set. Yeah. yeah. So she's actually going to get the wallet. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Does it have any money in oh, it? Oh, no. Hurry. i got to do my joke before I run out of batteries. Oh. And a little, um, like, Kleenex thing or something? Cute. Isn't it cute? It is cute. Yay, Tammy. Good job, Tammy. Um, people are asking how they get into future drawings. Please explain. That's good. It's, uh, like, share, and comment. That's how we actually pick this. Um, and again, if you ask us, we're probably going to pick you the next time. So, <laughs> so you're going to be the winner on Monday. <laughs> Sherry King. <laughs> That's right. So, but uh, yeah, so we um, we she actually said, just do it randomly. We sort of scroll down the list and put our finger on the screen, and whoever it's picked is picked. So that's, uh, that's Tammy how said, do it. awesome. Thank you. <laughs> so, um, I have a joke and I think Christine has a joke too. So, um, yep. mine's fast and easy. Mine's a longer one. Yeah. It's a blonde one. Why, <laughs> why don't teddy bears ever eat anything? Cause they're always stuffed. <laughs> oh goodness. <laughs> What's yours, Christine? Okay. Mine's longer. Christine's doing the project today, so yes, we can I just am. keep the camera on her. Okay, so there's two bowling teams, one of all blondes and one of all brunettes. They charter a double-decker bus for a weekend bowling tournament in, a, in Atlantic City. The brunette team is riding the bottom of the bus, and the blonde team rides at the top level. The brunette team down below is whooping it and having a great time. I've never heard that expression where whooping, whooping it, it up. Yeah, <laughs> whooping it up. Anyways, when one of them realized she doesn't hear anything from the blondes upstairs, she, she decides to go up and investigate. When the brunette reaches the top, she finds all the blondes frozen in fear, staring straight ahead of the road and clutching to, clutching to the seats in front of them with white knuckles. She says, what the heck's going on up here? We're having a grand time downstairs. One of the blonde looks up and says, yeah, but you guys have a driver. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> okay, well, we will get started. For today. So this 
is the design that we're doing today. So it's oh, it little... matches your shirt. Yes. Oh, it does. Look at that. That's cute. <laughs> so um, it's just a little door hanger. It says, do not disturb. I am busy. It's really simple, easy, quick, and fun. Um, so I did a gray striped fabric on the front, and then I did the tulip pink oh, wow. rainbow yeah. fabric on the back. So yes, there are kits for today. So we have the kits over here. So you get the front, oh, geez, throw it at you. The front fabric, the back fabric, and your batting. Um, so you'll get everything to complete the project, um, except for your front. So they are $4.99, um, so if you would like one, let us know. Um, the only thing that is not included in the kit that I am going to use today is the SF-101. So I'm using the SF-101 on the back side of this piece, so that's the only thing that is not included, and then obviously your stabilizer for your hoop, of which we are using Dissolve Away Mesh because we want to make sure that we get that stabilizer to disappear on the ends. All right. Perfect. Tammy, we already took care of your kit for you. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> I think you asked us the other day. <laughs> so we're going to turn the iron on because the first thing I have to do. Okay, so I have a kit here and I am going to take my first piece, my front piece here, and I am going to iron the SF-101 to the back back side of the fabric this fabric is kind of would you say there's a right or wrong probably yeah, yeah that, this that is looks the right, right. Side. Mm -hmm. okay so you'll iron it onto the back side of your fabric and you can kind of feel the fusible this piece that's pretty good okay so we're gonna iron that onto the back side i don't know if our iron is hot yet but we'll give it a shot And this is a free design, so after today, I will link it up on our uh, website. I didn't have time to do it before, so I will get that done as soon as I finish here. So I'm really curious, if people are asking for multiple kits, does that mean they sew in multiple rooms? Ooh, or maybe they're going to give it to somebody as a gift. Oh, that would make a nice there. gift. Yeah. Okay, here you are. All right, so the first thing that you're going to do is you are going to hoop your dissolve away mesh. And I am using a six by 10 hoop, okay? So I am going to grab my design. Uh-oh. Sorry, had it in the wrong, see? <laughs> Told you. Please hold. Please hold. Please hold. Having, <laughs> having a technical difficulty. Oh, I was <laughs> Okay, so we're going to bring our design in. We're going to rotate it. Okay, so I am using the 6x10 hoop, so if you have that, it fits perfectly inside here. Your first stitch is going to go directly on top of your stabilizer, and that is going to be a placement stitch for your batting. Where'd the design come from? Um, honestly, it's like, it's called thebikestore.com. <laughs> and if you scroll through there, I'm going to the direct bike, you. Yes, the bike because store? like, even the front, they, there's a picture of the front of their store. And it has like skateboards and stuff outside of it. But they have all these embroidery designs. I'm like, I would have never How did that. Elaine find that? And, well, and actually, she had me directed to BB Embroidery, but that didn't come up with anything. So I found it on Google and it took me to this. That's and, crazy. Yeah, kind of interesting. <laughs> the largest magnetic hoop, um, Jan, for you, the largest one that you would be able to use is the 9.5 by 14 and they are 220. Um, Christine is using two layers of water soluble stabilizer, yes. I was just told to do that. Um, didn't did you bring the project over here or not? Oh, no, I didn't, but I can grab it. Okay, Christine's going to... Yet, oh, I've got it right oh. here. <laughs> okay, so here's the project. It is a door hanger that you hang over the knob of your door 
And it or says you can even just hang it in your sewing room. Oh, absolutely, you could. Like, yeah, on a something. hook or something. Yeah. Um, do not disturb. I'm busy with a little bee at the bottom. It is really cute. Um, and then it's got the really pretty tulip pink fabric on the back. This is one of their rainbow fabrics. Okay, so I did the placement stitch for my batting. I'm now going to take my, uh, or put my batting down, covering that up, and I am going to stitch the batting down. So Jan, I'm not sure if you're asking me um, about the hoop size that I just referred to. So the nine and a half by 14 is the largest hoop size for the Baby Lock Destiny. If you own the Solaris, the largest hoop size is 10 and a half by 16. You should tell them about all the trade-ins we got recently. There's gonna be a point in time where we sew out the this part okay it's eight minutes so okay so we're gonna need something to talk about yeah okay so once you do this part you are going to take and trim uh the batting around the outer edge and trim around the edge do not cut the stabilizer from the hole so okay. you're going to cut the batting but not the stabilizer Correct. right yes and i think when i did this i actually did the um I trimmed the inside of the hole at the same time as the fabric. So you're going to trim on the outside. And the batting that is in the kits is the, oh my gosh, the Color Me Cotton batting. So we've used this quite a bit recently. I love that batting. I do too. It's a little bit heavier than the Ultra Soft and it is non-fusible. Okay, so then you're going to trim the batting. So do not trim the stabilizer, just the batting. And again, when you have these scissors, it makes it really easy to get in there with the point, making sure you're only grabbing one layer at a time. The scissors that Christine is using today are the Quilters Select. Actually, it's the scissors we use every day. They are. We use <laughs> for every project. <laughs> um, it's the Quilters Select Wave Applique. They are a sharp point duckbill scissor that are angled, and they are um, $31.99. It's funny because yesterday when I was stitching this out, I was trying to use these ones, which, I mean, they're great scissors, don't get me wrong, but I ended up having to go find the other ones because I was ones. not used to them. I was like, I can't do this. Okay, so the next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna lay that piece of fabric that we ironed the SF-101 on the back, and we're gonna lay that down, covering up our whole piece of batting there, and we're gonna do our tack down. Um, can we just confirm, because People are out on the bikestore.com but can't find embroidery designs. <laughs> so this is what... <laughs> oh my Guys, gosh. Do, uh, bike this... <laughs> so bikestore.com forward slash... I'm going to link it, you guys. I promise. Christine um, is going to put a link Starling. on our website. Starlink. So you've got to do forward stash Starlink. Okay. And you can go all the way down and then you can just download it. And it'll download a zip file right to your computer. There you go. Christine will put this link I up on, I will. on our website. <laughs> <laughs> they actually have some cute stuff on there. Okay, if you are ordering the scissors and you are left-handed, please let us know because they do come both left-handed and right-handed. So if you don't mention it, we will presume you want right-handed. Why would you presume that? Because this world is a right-handed world. <laughs> okay, so again, we're going to come in and round our trim our fabric inside the hole here, but not the stabilizer. So we're just going to trim our fabric. Very 
So a lot of the cut, times... Do you cut left-handed? No, I cut right-handed. Oh. So I always feel like my hand's in the way. So a lot of the times we haven't cut that outer edge until the embroidery is done, but the instructions on this one just they tell you to, to do, do it. it. Yes. Okay. So you probably could wait if you wanted to because like a lot of Kimberbells that we do, they say to wait until all the embroidery is done because it pulls. Um, the directions, I'm following the directions, I know. You're doing Strange. something that you're told. Um, so um, they say to trim it, but if you wait it, before it does the satin stitch, you're totally fine. Okay. Okay. Oh, ladies, she just put that in the trash can. <laughs> and again, we're going to get in there and just trim the fabric away. Leaving the stabilizer. So Leaving she's making sure she didn't trim down to the stabilizer. Yep. And if you just kind of put your finger on the back and dig that point in there. We could. So Birdie, um, Birdie just asked if we have received the Kimberbell Winter Wonderland kits yet. As of about... An hour ago. An maybe. hour ago, yes, we did receive the <laughs> uh, the kits. So it'll take us. Um, I think we're going to try and get them all assigned to people tomorrow or later today. Okay, yeah. So you should get a call from somebody down in the Littleton store um, that it is ready for pickup. So if you're signed up for the event, you should be getting a call from us on the Winter Wonderland kits. So whatever store you are wanting to pick it up. From. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. Okay. Oops, sorry. You're fine. Okay, so now the first embroidery part that it's going to do is going to be the little wings of the bee. So I'm going to change my thread from this gray color. I just chose like kind of a in between of a like a light silvery kind of blue, blue, purple, silvery color. Um, for the bee's wings, so we can go ahead and stitch that part out. So Christine, we have a question for you. Okay. What does your sewing room floor look like? <laughs> <laughs> it actually doesn't look too bad. Christine keeps a very clean house, so even though she might throw it on the floor here, she probably doesn't <laughs> at home. <laughs> I actually have um, on, like where I have my sewing machine, um, one of those really big like ceramic containers that you would put like your cooking utensils in oh and, and you just all my small threads stuff. yeah, yeah. Uh -oh. What's this um pardon no no no, no. it's um iron on vinyl yeah and it's like 7.99 a yard sorry um, Jackie, we do not have a new date for the boulevard because you might be one of the lucky ones that got your kit, but not everybody um, is um, in that position. So we have not got all of the, um, the fabric in yet to be able to distribute to everybody that is waiting on that. Okay, so once you have stitched your wings out, you'll go ahead and put a yellow on for the bee's body. Okay, and then once it does the bee's body, it goes in and finishes the bee, but it also goes and does pretty much everything that is black on here. So you want to make so sure, yeah, it's kind of all tied into one. So it does the bee's body and all the little swirls and the machine. So if you're wanting different colors, you might want to pay attention to stop it. Or, or if you need to go to the bathroom, yeah. now would be a good, good time. Because <laughs> <laughs> it's going to do this for eight minutes. 
Okay, so we'll go ahead and start that. Someone just said you are doing an amazing, in capital letters, job teaching. So easy to follow you, so clear, love sewing with you. Oh, thank you. I enjoy it. And while this is working, you could also, so for the outside, so if you look closely, I did two different colors, which I'm gonna do again today. So I did the light blue, and then it goes over and does this kind of fun cross, cross stitch. Cross stitch. Yeah. Um, you want to wind a bobbin in the same color as your satin stitches. So if you wanted to wind a bobbin in that same color, you could do that at this point too. If your machine has the and separate. And you pretty much could use any colors, right? Oh, yeah. I mean, if you're not a purple person, yeah, you could. Yeah, you. Uh-huh. Um, because it's a rainbow color fabric on the back, there's actually all yeah. different and fabrics. you don't even have to match the back. I just think it's cute. Um, but, you know, and so I did match the back, but you don't have to. So the kits for today, ladies, are $4.99. All right, Patrick, you want to talk about all the trade-in machines we have? Oh, okay. Go. <laughs> yeah, we're going to we're going to put Patrick on the spot because apparently he wants do this for a he while. wants to tell you all about the um, the trade-in machines that we've just recently got in. Well, we also I, I want to tell you that we did find a way to get these lives up onto our YouTube page and our web page. So let all your friends know because I know there's a lot of people out there who have said, "Well, I'm not on Facebook and I don't." want to get on Facebook and again that was sort of our we stumbled onto it to to do these lives but um, again we finally found a way after six months of um, putting these onto our web page so uh, we've got a couple of the videos each one of them takes about an hour so Matt's gonna be working on these over the months here to try to get us all caught up can we get the old ones uh -huh. oh yeah. he did figure out how to do that well, we could, we're gonna put those onto our web page so, um, so the old ones are not going to be able to go on to YouTube, but they are going to be able to go on to our webpage. So you'll okay. be able to find them on there. Okay. I'm glad I'm learning this with all of you so, ladies uh, today. So the month of August, I put them on the date. Where are you putting them? We're going to put them in a, in a Tips and Tricks uh, a, a special Facebook Live page where you can just click on the Facebook Live. It'll be an embedded video, and you'll just click on the date you want, and it'll, uh, it'll play the video. So... Um, again, anything you want, we're going to try to do it by date order. Uh, a lot of the things we don't know what we did on that particular day. Um, so we'll uh, try to get organized with that. But anyway, again, these videos will now be, all of them from here on out will be on YouTube. Um, and so let your friends know if they don't want to join us on Facebook right after they'll be on the YouTube channel. So we, we have a YouTube channel. Hopefully you'll go out and subscribe to that too. So we would love to see on there. Um, we do have some good instructional videos out there and stuff like that. So hopefully you'll you'll um, you'll join us on there too. Um, what else? Oh yeah, and we just of course came out. We got the new Solaris 2 in. We also got um, the new Venture, the new 10 needle in. So and with that, we've got a whole bunch of wonderful trade-ins. So again, you guys are watching us use all this cool technology. Um, again, I keep telling you, for those of you who don't have a machine with a camera on it, I, I would highly, highly recommend it. It makes your life so much easier, especially on the embroidery side. But um, uh, we did get some trade-ins. Uh, we've got a Baby Lock Enterprise traded in, which is the 10 needle. Um, uh, it's the 10 needle version with the camera. It doesn't have the IQ designer on it, but it does have a cam the camera technology on it. Um, so again, if you're interested in upgrading your sewing room to a new 10 needle, um, we've got a really, really nice one. It's one of our really good customers who owned it. She upgraded to the Venture and traded it in um, just last week. We also have a Destiny. And again, we got a really nice Destiny. Again, that has the IQ designer technology on it. Um, it has both the upgrades. Um, really, really excellent condition, um, and we have one of the destinies available. So that won't last long. It won't. And, and it, I was at the beginning of the day, we actually had three other machines to tell you about, and they all sold. So that's a, we actually had a Solaris traded in that sold. 
We had a, a dream machine traded in that sold. So again, um, they, they're going as fast as they come in. So just uh, keep that in mind if you're <laughs> thinking about this at all. Um, what, who's laughing? Oh. Um, they want to know who's sitting behind you. No. <laughs> Can you wave? Can you get another tooth out? Can you wave? Can you say hi? Can you wave, Dylan? He's pulling his own teeth. No, so he's, he's uh, yeah. that is that is Dylan's um, eldest son. Dylan's Dylan's eldest eldest son? Son? No, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> it is Christine's eldest son, Dylan. Good. So, and um, again, if you have any questions on any of them, let us know. Um, I, so our YouTube channel is just if you search for Above and Beyond, above and beyond Sewing. Okay. Yes. Above and Beyond Sewing, you'll you'll come up with our YouTube channel. How about any used surges? Do we have any used surges? Uh, anything um, I, I can investigate on that we don't have any baby locks I know at this point um, and that's the only use surgery I'd want to sell you anyway so, um, but again we do have uh, the um, 10 needle the enterprise uh, we want to sell for $69.99 so we're gonna sell that for about seven thousand um, dollars it is an excellent excellent condition um, she took really, really good and care And we of also it. have a older six needle too, right? That's a good point. Uh -huh. about that one. Yeah, that one was Do you want to tell what the price is on that and one? That one we were um, selling that six needle. It's a BMP6. So it actually has a USB connection on the side. It's an older six needle um, that we're selling at thirty nine ninety nine. dollars so Okay. That's another really good alternative if you want to get into some of those those multi-needle machines and i know i have missed some questions here so kim um you asked about the kits and the kits are 4.99 um do you have to sign up on youtube to be able to watch them you don't right yeah, okay yeah. Um, if you subscribe anytime we post a new video it'll alert you so if you subscribe to our channel um it'll alert you again we've got several videos i've got my uh, uh, maintenance video up there i've got um, some of the applique videos that we we did in facebook um so we've got those up there so there's there's quite a bit to look at so the new product um launch that will be posted to youtube after we have gone live exactly. with it right yes. okay and i'm going to put out an email on this too but again just let your friends know if they're they're not watching us I, I, we've heard from a lot of people who said i hear you're doing these but i just don't want to do facebook you know shari we matt has actually been thinking about trying to get a page on our website where we have our used machines listed on there um so at this current time we do not have our used machines listed on our website site um the problem is they can change very quickly yeah, like patrick just said that yeah, two of them just got sold this morning so it's it's very time consuming to keep that updated um but if there's one that you're particularly looking out for give us a call and we have a list of people that we keep on file and we let them know when certain machines come in um let me see um, Hi, <laughs> <laughs> um, somebody's asking about lessons on the multi-needle machines. Yes. Um, this is the expert for the multi-needle standing right in front of me here. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so at the moment, we don't have any type of group classes, but Patrick does do a multi-needle club um, at um, two of the stores at the moment, um, right? Yes, exactly. Um, yeah, at Littleton and at Thornton, as soon as we open the classrooms again. Um, we're talking about putting our clubs onto a Zoom format too, because uh, again, we don't know how long our classroom is going to be shut down. And we do want to start doing some of our classes for you ladies at, or and gentlemen. Um, so we are talking about putting some of our clubs onto a Zoom format where, where we can have you guys sign up and we'll, um, we'll be able to start those up again virtually anyway. And so. Shelly, if you're interested in a Destiny, I honestly would not wait till we're done finished filming today. I would get on the phone and call somebody and get some information on it because... Um, um, $59.99 is the price on that Destiny. Okay. okay so, okay. So and we do have it all ready to go. It's serviced and, and done. And Somebody says you need another chocolate chip cookie. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> oh, I love it. <laughs> Thanks for making us laugh. See, our customers think we do this for them, but really we do this for our own enjoyment and fun. Um, we, um, at the North Store, at the Fortin location, um, we had just started an IQ club just this year um, that we were trying to get up and off the ground. Um, a hands-on IQ club. However, um, we do do a baby lock club. And we do do. We do do a baby lock club that um, traditionally we will always do something in IQ. And that is a free club to anybody that's purchased a machine from us. Um, and we did that monthly in each of the free stores. I keep talking in past tense. It's sad, isn't it? Um, oh my gosh, so many questions. It would be great to have a multi, I know, of six attendees. We would love, love for you to um, to join us on our multi-needle um, clubs. Yes, yeah, and th those are fun. We, we go through aftermarket hoops and all kinds of the, we, again, on those clubs, we tend to focus on the more advanced features of the machine. Um, again, I've had some requests to try to get that club up and running virtually, so we're, um, we, have been so busy with the Facebook thing that we've sort of neglected some of our other classes. So we need to try to try to incorporate that. And we that is in the forefront of our mind. So just to let you okay. Know. And then they were, want some information on what you're wearing today. So no, this is not a new shirt. This is um, <laughs> when we do offsite events. We have company um, uniforms, so to speak. And this was one of our event shirts. This is our Friday shirt, that's right. This, this is, is actually our Saturday shirt, isn't it? Yes. Yeah, yeah, our green one's the Friday shirt. So I always do it backwards. That's right. So It's green on Friday, purple on Saturday. Mm -hmm. right. There you go. Well, okay, let's go back and see what Christine's up to. You guys are going to have to talk again. We're going to have to talk again? Okay, so... Apparently, that's pretty easy for Patrick. <laughs> Um, so I did the decorative stitch on the sewing machine once it did all the black and then I just did the spool of thread that goes all the way down through the needle here. So I did the decorative stitch in like a light gray color and then I did that kind of fun, I don't even know. Sequin. It's like a minty yeah. sea foamy fun color. And then now it's going to do the words. <laughs> he sounds like an elephant when he's running past. Because he's wearing combat boots. So this is doing the lettering now? Yeah, so it's doing the do not disturb and then at the bottom I'm busy. And so I'm doing mine in purple. Lots of stitching. Patrick, do we want to talk about the, um, Patrick, in a minute, do you want to talk about the new floor and the classes? Sometimes I wonder how we get through the day. <laughs> um, absolutely. So someone is asking if we could modify this pattern and instead of a sewing machine, leave that off and put like some books or something like that on there. Yep. Absolutely. So you would just... Um, although once it's done the black, it goes straight into the sewing machine. No, it actually does the black on the B, then the sewing machine, and then it does the swirly stuff. Okay, so you'd so have you, to kind of make mm -hmm. sure that you're stopping it at the right point. Paying attention. And then um, then you would need to um, obviously find another little embroidery that you wanted to place in there. But um, absolutely, you could do on that. On this website, they have, I don't know what they say, um, but they have ones that has a dog on it and a cat on it. That's a little door hanger that's really cute too. 
Um, Carol, we're going to talk about some more upcoming virtual events that we have coming up here. Um, we actually have quite a few of them scheduled. So although we will be getting them onto our calendar, if anybody's interested, you might want to have pen and paper handy because we're going to give you lots of dates and lots of information um, on some virtual classes coming up here. What's the total design size on this? What do you mean? Like how big? Yeah. Like once it's finished? Yes. So it's just about nine and a half by um, four inches yeah. is the final size. I have not tried out the new hoop yet. It's still sitting by the side of my desk. Do you have glow in the dark thread? You know what? I we ordered do. some. Did it come mm -hmm. in? Okay, yeah, it came in. So yes, we do have glow in the dark thread. It's that time of the year, right? Where you might want to use glow in the dark thread. Good point, Anne. You could definitely edit this design by bringing it into a computer program, such as the Floriani. That's so cool. I want to do something with this. The glow in the dark? You should do your mystery. Um, I think the only color we got, Christine has just gone to get it. Oh, it's is, just the regular. It's the regular yellow. Yeah. Um, which doesn't look anything spectacular um, because it's not dark here. But they do have like a glow-in-the-dark pack, don't they, that has different colors in it? Um, there are different colors, yes. Anyways, it's ten ninety-nine. Oh, everybody's asking about the next mystery. <laughs> She's going to sew her things with this. Isn't that cute? She's like nodding her head at me <laughs> like I'm going to agree to this. Um, okay, so the I next... I didn't want to say what it was. The next mystery um, is going to be $29.99. It is a Halloween um, wall hanging. Um, you could use it as, like a table topper. as a little table topper if you wanted to. Um, it's going to be about a 22 inch finished wall hanging. It's um, really cute. It's really cute. You mm -hmm. think so? Thank you. Um, and this time I'm doing something a little bit different. Um, you're actually going to have pre cut applique shapes in your kit. Okay. So it's $29.99. It is mystery number eight. I will show you some of the fabrics um here in just a moment um when it gets on to doing the satin stitching i'll show you because i know i showed you yesterday but some of you might not have been around oh yeah we're almost ready to do that um so yes if you want to order a kit go ahead and put it on here everybody appears to be very eager to get their name down for one of these cindy kits i did not tell cindy <laughs> cindy's gonna be mad at me okay you ladies are gonna have to all back me up that you badgered me into doing this today because i normally try to give cindy a heads up on what we're going to be covering i think she knows by now it's kind of a go with the flow So ladies, I've only made six kits, so it seems like <laughs> I'm just joking. <laughs> I'm just We're joking. We're going to have to draw names. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> Yes, I will be, be providing artwork if you don't buy a kit for you to create your own applique. Jeez, there's lots of kits coming up here. I can't keep, I can't keep up with these comments. I hope I haven't missed anybody's questions. Um, the comments are coming up very, very quickly. <laughs> Pardon? Lynn said she could come cut fabric for 
I would love someone to come help me cut fabric. <laughs> you love making kids, don't lie. This one I'm actually like pre-cutting all your strips to the exact size that you need. So there's a lot, yeah, there's a lot of cutting on this one. Patrick, what did you just announce for the Destiny price? $59.99. So the used Destiny that we have is priced at $59.99. Okay, so Patrick is asking me to share with you that we cannot do a trade-in on a trade-in machine. Okay. I'm going to go on with the next step. So at this point, I have done all my wording and everything. I'm going to change the bobbin to my satin stitch color bobbin. bobbin. <laughs> and I'm going to change my top thread to match that bobbin. Okay. And I am going to flip the hoop over to the back. And I am going to take my piece of um, backing fabric and I'm going to lay it right side facing out so wrong side facing down and I'm going to place a couple pieces of tape on the top and the bottom <clears throat> and I am going to put it back on the machine and it is going to tack that fabric down to my project Today's project will be on the calendar. It's not on the calendar right at the moment. It'll be on there just as um, done. Whilst Christine was giving those directions, I don't remember who it was, but somebody asked if a dark gray would work for the current mystery that we're working on, and absolutely it will. Donna, give us a call on your embroidery foot. Um, you actually have to order it through a Baby Luck dealer. Baby Luck does not sell directly to the consumer. So give us a call and we'll make sure that we get that taken care of for you. I thought it was you, Eileen, but I wasn't 100% sure that I had remembered that correctly, so. All right. So now I am going to turn it over to the back and I am going to trim um, my fabric and I'm going to trim inside the hole but still leaving my um, dissolve away mesh stabilizer so if for somebody who said uh, we if you didn't trim the front at this point you would want to trim the front and the back uh, making them both the same Margaret you asked how much is a new and then we don't have anything else if you want to ask that question again, we will try and help you. Right, and then great question, Margaret. Um, what was it? How much is the um, embroidery foot? Um, a lot of that would depend if it's a plug in one or not, so it depends if it is plugged into the back. So, they're different prices. What is included in today's kit? Um, today's kit includes your backing fabric, your front fabric, and your batting. So my email, um, I know Eileen is asking, um, but if anybody wants my email, it is kate at aboveandbeyondsewing.com. Okay. Yes, Jan, Christine is trimming. 
trim. Okay, so I'd, I've trimmed everything um, on the back, and then if you didn't trim, if you're not trimming right away on the front, you'd want to make sure you trim that as well. And now it is just going to do the satin stitching, so making sure you're having top thread and bobbin matching, and go ahead and do that. Okay, so this is going to take a few minutes, and um, Kathy, I'm going to go look and see if we do. Um, and then I'm also going to show you ladies the fabrics um, that are in the new mystery. Okay, let's go take a peek. Are you going to show them that little... Pardon? This? Yeah, can you grab some of that mm -hmm. out of there? Um, Christine, do we have yardage of this? Uh, no. How much is a W foot that does not plug in? A W foot that does not plug in? Mm-hmm. So we have a little bit of this left, not a whole lot, Kathy. So let me know if you are interested in this fabric. This is actually a Tula Pink fabric. We do have a bunch more Tula Pink fabric that we ordered after we showed it last time. Um, this is called the Rainbow Hexes. It's really a pretty fabric. How big is the mystery wall hanging? It's about a 22 inch square, so it's not very big. So here is um, some of the fabrics. Um, there's some black solid squares and stripes down there too. So um, here, these are the backings. The backings will actually all be different fabrics. So it might not just be um, this one. It will be some type of Halloween print. So the backings will, yep. And then those narrow ones, and then there's some squares. So um, I haven't normally done this, but this next project, everything is pre-cut to the exact size, okay? So um, everybody's kit will have the same binding, which is this one. Um, this is gonna be a border. And then look at these. We have all sorts of cut strips of fabric all different sizes we've got some little narrow strips um so this particular project if you're buying a kit when we when i do give the cutting directions there will be no cutting for you to do if you got a kit the cutting directions will be purely for the people that are not buying a kit okay so again the kit will include everything for the front um your binding and your backing it will not include your batting cute yep so lots of and i have to admit this little handy dandy machine over here has mm -hmm. been very busy cutting strips of fabric so um i don't know how many of you have used the AccuQuilt. But the um, strip die for the one and a half inch and the two and a half inch strip die has come in really handy over the last 24 hours. We have that fabric in this color tone too. Oh, the hexi fabric that we were just looking at, we also do have it in the blue too. Um, so yes, the AccuQuilt, this particular project this time is definitely, um, AccuQuilt, um, geared towards, um, the use of their dyes. How are we doing? Stitching away. So here it is doing the satin stitching. It's pretty. <laughs> okay, so this striped fabric that I just showed, at the moment I am not cutting any of that for yardage um, because I want to make sure that I have sufficient for all the kits. So until I know how many kits um, I'm going to need, um, I'm not going to be um, cutting that um, for, for just yardage. 
I do have a call in to my vendor to find out whether I can get some more of that. Um, I don't remember. I'll have to look on the edge of the boat. My foot was loose. Your foot was loose? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Polly should go to a foot doctor. <laughs> That's my joke for the day, ladies. Um, Patty, if you can let us know on that hexi fabric, whether you want the silver or the blue, we'd appreciate it. So Monday is the final day love for Love Notes. Yes. So we're pretty excited about that. Oh, we were going to go over the classes. Oh, yeah, that's what Patty was going to do. So let's, he's got the um, calendar over here, Christine. Um, so a lot of our vendors are coming up with um, a lot of virtual events for us. Oh. It's right here. Do I need to film you? Sure. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over some of our virtual events that we have scheduled. And I'll explain to you whether they are hosted by us or whether they're hosted by one of our vendors. So the first one we have coming up is our Winter Wonderland, and that is on September 11 and 12, and that is hosted by, um, by us, okay? It's a two-day event. The next one is going to be September 17th, and this one is hosted by OESD, so Oklahoma Embroidery Supply um, Company. And I know that somebody asked about that just a little bit ago, whether we were gonna be hosting a virtual. So this is a virtual quilting class with OESD. Um, then on um, September the 23rd, so we've basically got one a week through September. So on the 23rd, Floriani, and this one we're really excited about, Floriani have come out with some hands-on virtual classes, okay? Um, and that one is, the first one that we're going to do with Floriani is a t-shirt class, okay? So we will get more information up on our website within the next 24 hours on all of these for you, okay? So we do So have they're not open for enrollment yet? These, the I'll tell you which ones are when I do them, okay? So the Kimberbell Winter Wonderland is open for enrollment, okay? okay? The Floriani T-shirt class on September the 23rd is not, okay? Then on the 30th, we have the Kimberbell Sugar Plum. That's an in-house one from Kimberbell, and that one is open for enrollment. In October, we have um, October the 7th, we have another class from Floriani. It's called Tulips in Bloom. And that one, um, these just got, we just um, got these confirmed yesterday. So that one is not ready for um, signups yet. In October, we also have the Kimberbell Tea Party. That one is open for registration on our website. Then at the end of October, we have one, it's a quilting one from Floriani, and it's called the Disappearing Dresden. It's a really cute topper, you're gonna love it. Okay. Then in November, we have an embroidery class from Floriani. Um, it's called the Organizer, and that is on November 4th. And then on November 7th, we have a Kimberbell Sugar and Spice. That one is open. So basically all the Kimberbell ones are open for registration. Um, and then in December, um, the first weekend in December, on the 4th and 5th, we have the Kimberbell Merry and Bright. And that one is open for registration Oops, on our website. So lots of information, lots of virtual classes coming to you. I know that Above and Beyond is going to be putting in some more classes. Um, we feel like our class schedule through the end of the year is probably going to be virtual. 
Um, so we are going to be putting in some more staff taught um, regular classes and maybe try to incorporate some of our clubs as virtuals too. Um, but we want to be able to continue to keep bringing you the daily lives because we think those are really important too. So um, we don't want to do too many that people start to pick and choose and don't want to attend daily lives either. So we want to keep our numbers up on the daily lives and we feel like we are connected to you when we um, are doing these. Yes. Okay, so Joy, the duckbill scissors are 20% off um, and Kim asked why do virtual classes sell out why do virtual classes sell out well the only reason that a kimberbell virtual class would sell out is if we don't have a kit available so it might be because it i don't think any of ours have sold out yet mm -hmm. have they no so i can't speak for other dealers um but for us um it would probably be kit based um so if we only buy a certain amount of kits in then once those kits are gone, if the class is too close to the time for us to be able to order more kits, then that would probably be the reason why. Okay. Um, the number eight is the Halloween one. That is correct. Mystery number eight. Um, and then these are not on our calendar on our website, right? The correct. The Kimberbell ones are. Right. But the uh -huh. other ones are not well, yet. Well, I'm waiting for the artwork from Floriani okay. before I can put some, because, you know, I can tell you what it looks like, but it's not the same as being able to see a picture. Okay. okay? So as soon as I get the artwork from Floriani, we will get these up on our website. And we will not be, um, we will not be maxing these out. I mean, we will, as long as we have like 10 days before, so I wouldn't leave these virtual classes till the last minute to sign up because we do need to have time to be able to get those kits in. Um, all of the Floriani classes are not taught by us. They are taught by a Floriani educator. Okay, um, so Kim responded back like, like Floriani, did it sell out? I'm sorry? She was, she asked if why they sell out and then said like Floriani question mark. Well, we haven't so I'm not Floriani sure. Hands -on before. It was, it's only been, I don't think a lecture they, yeah. limited it. I'm not sure, Kim. Um, I don't know that we've had a virtual event sell out. Um, so I'm not sure what you're referring to. Um, Susan, as far as a Bella box, we have no idea. We are notified the same time you guys are on a Bella box. And do we have cost on the Floriani classes? Um, they're going to range because of the kit fees. Okay. Um, so they will, I, I can't give you the prices right off the top of my head. I just got this information yesterday. and I So just kind know. of letting you guys know that we have more virtual classes coming up, not just Kimberbell, um, other OESD and Floriani and things like that as well. Just yes. kind of getting you guys familiar with what we have coming up for you. Um, and then here, do you want to take it? Sure. Um, Mona... She asked if we showed the mystery eight kit, which we didn't really show. We yeah, we don't have the, I don't have the kits put together. As you can see, I have the strips, a lot of the strips cut, but I'm still in the process of um, accumulating those together. Okay, so it's done all the satin stitching. So now all I'm going to do is that little cross. Um, Absolutely. We will ship stitch. kits to wherever you are. We've actually even shipped them over to Germany, haven't we? <laughs> yep. So you're right. Um, Zoom does have maximum participants based on the subscription that they have with Zoom. So Zoom has different levels. I don't know what all the word, correct wording is, but basically they have an entry level Zoom package where they can maybe only have 20 students in a class or they have the professional where they might be able to have 200 students in a class. So that could be have something to do with the, um, the how they um, determine how many students they put in a class. We have a subscription with Zoom that I don't think we're gonna have to worry about having too many people in a class. Um, Patsy um, is asking about our Missy event that um, was scheduled for November. Um, that has been, um, we're in communication with Missy right now. Um, we are going to be doing a virtual anniversary event this year. 
So it makes us very, very sad um, because we have done a hands-on um, anniversary event for um, 10 plus years at this point. Um, but we are communicating with Missy. We have one of the projects already figured out. So as soon as I have more information, we will definitely be relaying that to all of you. That is sad. It is sad. What's sad? That we're ha event. Don't be sad. Our anniversary Somebody event. just asked about our anniversary oh, yeah. event. And actually, it was Matt's suggestion that we take it virtual. And I think it's a great idea, and Miss is willing to do it with us. So um, we're in the process of um, figuring out all um, the information on that at the moment. Um, all our in-store events have been canceled through the end of the year. Yes, Birdie. Missy's website, I think it is Missy B. Stitching. If I'm wrong, I'm sure there's somebody on here that can correct me. Christine is not using double threads. She's using a second color over the satin stitch and it kind of just has like a triple stitch effect. Yes, and I didn't change my bobbin thread to match this thread. I just left it um, that same blue color that I did the satin stitching on. So I didn't wind, wind another bobbin. And I think it looks just fine on the back. Missy is wonderful. So if any of you do not, um, in fact, just a couple of days ago, I think she was on here. We have a live studio audience. Um, I think just the other day she was actually on here and kind of said hi to everybody. So Missy has done our anniversary event for us now for about oh, six or eight years probably. Um, she does wonderful Sunday night videos. If any of you don't follow along, you should go to her website, like it, and then um, most Sunday evenings she does a, a video. We're almost done. What is the bike website called again? I'll put it up on our website so that everybody has the correct address. Okay, so Christine's gonna put a link up on our website um, so that everybody can just click on the link. Okay, all right. So now all you're going to do is you're going to cut your um, stabilizer really close to your stitching. You can do this in the hoop or out of the hoop. It's actually easier to do the outside first, I think. Oops. <laughs> Diana, I want to say it's seven o'clock our time, but I could be wrong. Maybe it's five o'clock our time, seven o'clock her time. I don't know. I'm guessing. Um, somebody can probably chime in here and tell me what time it is. So just like Christine is doing, I also like to leave my embroidery in the hoop. It keeps it nice and taut whilst you are um, doing your trimming. And we all know Christine does a good job of trimming, right? <laughs> it's six o'clock our time. Thank you, Peggy. So 6 p.m. every, not every Sunday, but probably 90% of the time. That's cool. I didn't know that. You didn't know that? Mm -mm. Her videos go long. Really? Yeah. All right. So then you'll just trim the inside. And then once you have trimmed, you'll just get those edges wet with like a, a paper towel or cotton ball or however you like to um, dissolve away the mesh. And then you are done. And you have a really cute little hanger. I know we had lots and lots of comments today, so I'm hoping that we did, um, that we got everybody answered. And watch for a very active calendar coming your way <laughs> with virtual classes. We'll work on getting these, um, we'll work on getting these up on the website here over the next couple of days. Yeah. Projects and things like that. I think they're about done. So then we're done. Okay.
<laughs> but say so you should move that to the side. Your nose is hanging out of the hole. <laughs> okay, well, thank you, everybody, for, um, for joining us today. We really appreciate it, and we will see you all on Monday. Have a good, yes, final one for Love Notes. Um, have a great weekend. Thank you. Bye-bye.